Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sheboygan County High School Boys Basketball. We are here at Cedarburg today, Cedarburg High School, where the Kohler Blue Bombers will be taking on the Sheboygan County Christian High School Eagles in WIAA tournament action. Both teams have previously defeated two other teams and now meet here in a regional final. Uh, Kohler is at 12 and 10 overall. They beat Elkhart and Destiny to get here. And Christian Wolf, their, their six foot 10 center is, is the man that's leading them. He's had over 70 points in the last two games, scoring 41 against Elkhart, Elkhart and 20, 29 against Destiny. Christian is 18 and four. They beat Maasai Institute in a pretty easy game, 84 to 21, and then beat Living Weird Lutheran, 54 to 45. They are not overly dominated by anyone. They play a good team ball. They are led by two sophomores, Lee Veldkamp and Joe Mirrodin. The winner of this game plays the winner of the Randolph Oshkosh Lords, and that game will be played next week, Friday. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this high school game at the Vision 4 WIA tournament. by appreciating the efforts of both teams, the coaches and the officials in tonight's contest in a positive manner. At this time, would you please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Let's meet the starters for today's game. First, for the Eagles from Sheboygan County Christian High, number 11, Nate Klopadek. A senior, number 12, Brandon Simmons. Number 14, a sophomore, Lee Veldkamp. 
Number 21, another senior for the Eagles, Joel Westerbeck. And the big man for the Eagles, number 32, Joel Mirdink. The Eagles are coached by Mr. Brett Flipsy. And now let's meet the Kohler Blue Bombers. Number four, a senior, Dominique Farini. A junior, number 13, Douglas Bocchini. Another senior, 6'1", Matt Riley. And number 35, a 6'6", senior, Craig Bishop. And jumping center, the big man for Kohler, number 45, Christian Wolf, standing at 6'10". The Kohler Blue Bombers are coached by Mr. Jeff Wolf. These two teams are not strangers to one another. They both play in the Central Lakeshore Conference. They faced each other twice already this season uh, with the Christian High Eagles coming out on top both times. It should make for an interesting game. Kohler is playing a wonderful, has been playing wonderful in the uh, postseason here. And so we're ready for a great game. Jumping center for the Eagles will be the sophomore, Joe Meerdink. And for the Blue Bombers, it will be Christian Wolf. Teams greet each other at center court. Referees getting everything settled. And we're just about ready to start this contest. Oh, it was a bad tip. And Joe Mirning caught the ball. And because he did that, in essence, it goes over to the Bombers. Bocchini inbounds over to Riley. He sets it up, bringing it over the timeline. Back door to Wolf, a little long. And Brandon Simmons comes up with it over to Lee Velkamp. Lee Velkamp on the left-hand side of the court, back to the middle. Over to Klopatic on the wing. Klopatic directing. Down into the corner to Simmons. Kohler is open up in a 2-3 zone. Eagles are at this point pretty patient about attacking it and analyzing it. Belkamp at the top. Over to Westerbeek into the corner. Swinging over to Klopatic. Klopatic looking into Simmons on the baseline. Back out to Belkamp. Over to Simmons. Skip over to Velkamp and they keep it on the right hand side of the floor. Velkamp for a three, short, rebounded by Riley who takes it on up the floor for Kohler. Riley over to Bocchini. Bocchini guarded by Velkamp, playing man to man, the Eagles are. Over in the corner to Riley, guarded by Westerbeck, who goes baseline and in for a layup. Nick Klopatic brings the ball up the floor, over to the left-hand side to Westerbeck, back to Klopatic, to down into Simmons, down on the baseline. They haven't gotten the ball into their big guy yet. Belkamp for three again. A little long, chased down by Simmons in the corner and back out to Klopatic. Kohler's doing a nice job with their zone defense, contesting the ball. Now they're in the middle to, to Meerdink, back out to Westerbeck. Now down low to Simmons, guarded by Wolf, double teamed by Bishop and Wolf. Looks like the Eagles are going to try to have to score from the outside in order to get anything on this. Skip over to Klopatic, who steps inside the three, shoots, and is a little long. And Bishop down with the rebound to Wolf, over to Riley, and he jogs it up over half court. Riley looks the situation over, guarded by Westerbeck into Wolf, guarded by Meerdink. Wolf down the baseline, double teamed, shoots up a hook. Down to Klopatic, over to Velkamp, back to Klopatic, who goes baseline, stopped by Wolf. Meerdink at the free throw line for a nice high archer and buries the two. Eagle coaches imploring their team to press and the Eagles ran back down court. Now there's some tight man to man. But Riley guarded closely, now Wolf triple team. Riley baseline, 
Over to Bocchini, who sh shoots a wing shot, comes up sh a little long, and we'll, and Mirden comes down with the rebound over to Klepatic. Klepatic brings it over, back to Velkamp in the middle, over on the wing, down into Simmons. Over to Velkamp. Joe sneaking in, Westerbeck for a reverse layup. Nice assist by Lee Velkamp. Little ball fake and then back inside and Westerbeck finished with a little re reverse layup. Riley dribbles in, dishes off to Farini who comes a little long and it's rebounded by Bocchini. Riley takes a three, he's short. Christian Wolf with a rebound. Over to Bocchini, guarded by Velkamp and back out and Kohler resets. Over to the wing, the Bocchini, a switch. Velkamp is being handled by Christian Wolf, and Lee Velkamp picks up his first foul and Christian High's first team foul. Kohler will inbound underneath the basket. And Christian tips it, and over to Meerdink. Meerdink over to Velkamp who puts up a layup, misses, shoots it long, and gets his own rebound, puts it back up, and is fouled by Craig Bishop. Lee Velkamp will be going to the line to shoot two free throws for the Christian High Eagles. Velkamp buys it up and hits the first one. Making the score Christian five, Kohler four. Substitution. Stefanicek comes in for Bocchini. And Craig Erbstacer is in to the Kohler lineup also. Belkamp hits the second, making the score six to two with four minutes left in the first quarter. A little pressure here by Christian. Man to man, Belkamp guarding. Number 23, Stefanczyk, and he throws it out of bounds. Turnover by the Blue Bombers. Eagles to inbound in their front court. Klopatic over to Westerbeek, back over to Klopatic, over to Velkamp, who takes a three, a little long. Christian Wolf with a rebound, and he gets it over to Riley. Riley penetrating into the middle, dishes to Wolf down on the block. Wolf working hard and tips it up over the top of the basket and out of bounds it goes to the Eagles. Velkamp getting instructions from the referee as to where he needs to be and what's the out of bounds line and the Eagles will inbound and Klepata brings it up to face this Kohler zone. Over to Velkamp on the wing, down to Simmons on the baseline, back to Velkamp. Velkamp hesitates, he had an opening. Back in the Mirdink who puts up a long shot from the free throw line. Velkamp comes racing in from the wing and gets the rebound. He's stuck in the corner out to Westerbeck and they settle it down again, looking to penetrate into this Kohler zone. Velkamp out on the right wing, down into the middle with Simmons. Mirdink takes a dribble into the lane, thinks twice about it as he's confronted by Christian Wolf. And the Eagles trying to probe this defense to find an opening. It's over to the wing to Westerbeek, down on the baseline to Simmons. Simmons skips over to Klepatic. Klepatic drives the middle, kicks out to Velkamp. Velkamp penetrates, kicks out to Klepatic, and Klepatic brings it back around and resets it. The defense for Kohler gets an applause from their fans. Westerbeek down the baseline, Wolf stops him there. Westerbeek, or Meerdink at the free throw line. Westerbeek now, and it's kicked out of bounds by number 25, Craig Erbstacer. Into the Eagle lineup comes Zach Jensma, and he replaces Brandon Simmons. Christian Wolf comes out and is replaced by Craig Bishop. There's 2.29 left in this first quarter, and the score still remains 6-2. to two. Westerbeek gets the inbound, shoots a three, and it's rebounded by Riley, who then pushes it up the court and is guarded by Westerbeek. He penetrates the middle, puts his shoulders down, and draws the foul from Joe Westerbeek. 
It was a blocking foul by Westerbeck. That's his first personal and the Christian Eagles second team foul. Kohler inbounding underneath their basket. They kick it out to number 25, Herb Stacer, who's pressured in the corner, who throws it across course to Stefanczyk. Stefanczyk penetrates the middle and picked up by Meerdink. Over to number four, Farini. Farini over to Stefanczyk, who penetrates the middle. Hesitates, shot fake, puts it up, doesn't fall, and Bishop comes down with the rebound, back to back to Farini underneath, he misses, and Belkamp comes away with the rebound. Belkamp pushes the ball up the floor, he's pressured by Farini, over to Klopatic, Westerbeek tells him to set it up, we've got Jensma over on the wing now, back into Westerbeek, looks like Lee Belkamp's playing the baseline. Jensma gets the ball from Klopatic and spots up for a beautiful three. Pressure again. Kohler saves the ball from going out of bounds and it goes back to Raleigh, goes off his foot and back to the Eagles. Kohler has another substitution coming into their lineup. Number 13, Bocchini for Farini and Christian Wolf come, comes back in for Craig Erbstacer. Christian inbounding underneath Kohler basket. And Klopatic brings the ball up the court. Facing a little bit of pressure in this 1-2-2 kind of half court pressure. Bocchini playing the very top and trying to make ball reversal hard for the Eagles. Westerbeek down into the corner to Velkamp, back to Westerbeek, over to Klopatic. Westerbeek spots up for a three, lets it go, and hits it. Pressure again. Riley pushes the ball up the floor, handles the ball really nice. He's their point guard. Back in the corner to Riley, back into Wolf, and Meerdink picks up the foul. He's got a tough challenge today, handling Christian Wolf. He's playing behind him right now, not fronting the big man. And he he picked it up, picked the foul up. That's his first, the Christian Eagles third team. Into the <laughs> into the Eagle lineup is Matt Sizemore for Joe Meerdink and Carl Dubois comes in for Nate Klopatic. Eagles come back in their man-to-man. -man. Over to Bocchini, skips it over to Stefanczyk who puts up the shot. Is long Christian Wolf with a rebound. Christian out of control. And it looks like Christian Wolf picked up an offensive foul going to the basket. Christian substitutions, another sophomore coming into the lineup, Andrew Stecker, and into the lineup comes Brandon Simmons back in. That was Christian Wolf's first foul and Kohler's second team foul. Dubois handling the point guard duties. It looks like Kohler is playing like a triangle in two. And a kick by the Kohler player, Bocchini, gives the ball back to the Eagles. Eagles will inbound on the baseline underneath their basket. It's a man-to-man -man by Kohler right now. Brandon Simmons to inbound. He's looking, throws it long over to Stecker. Sophomore has Stefanczyk on him. A junior, Dubois penetrates, hits it over to over to Jensma, who hits another beautiful arching three. <laughs> and at the buzzer. Kohler just about lost the ball. It is at the end of the first quarter. Sheboygan County Christian High School leading the Kohler Blue Bombers 15 to two. Kohler Blue Bombers really struggled in this first quarter trying to handle the press and getting and trying to get any decent shot. Christian has played some solid defense and has done a nice job of containing Wolf at this point. Well, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how they come out in the second quarter, what adjustments each team is going to make. And, it's on, and it looks like it will be Eagles ball as we start the second quarter. Starter 
numbers for the Blue Bombers for the second quarter. Number 13, Douglas Bocchini. Number 15, Matt Riley. Number 35, Craig Bishop. Number 45, Christian Wolf. And starting for the Blue Bombers is number 23, Ryan Stefanczyk. Starting for the Eagles is Lee Velkamp inbounding to Carl Dubois. Andrew Stecker is number 20, looking to play the wing. Matt Sizemore is at the center position, and Brandon Simmons is playing on the baseline. Kohler opens up in a man-to-man. -man. Sizemore is left alone up at the top. Christian runs their little weave. Dubois pulls up for a shot, misses, but Simmons right there with a rebound. Christian resets. Belkamp goes baseline, draws the double team. Simmons looking for a shot, flips it over to Dubois. Dubois looking to penetrate. He flips it back to Stecker. Stecker lines it up for a three, shoots, and comes up short. Rebound by number 35, Craig Bishop, but on an outlet. The Kohler Blue Bombers turn the ball over again, and it'll be Christian High basketball. Carl Dubois brings up the ball. Carl is a foreign exchange student here at Christian High. Um, has done a nice job for the Eagles this past year. Handles the ball well. He plays pretty much a true point guard. Simmons penetrates baseline, kicks to Stecker who cuts down the middle and misses. Simmons back with a rebound, kicks it out to Dubois who's who is touched by Riley, and Riley draws the foul on Dubois. That is Pat Riley's first foul, and the Kohler Blue Bombers' third team foul. Brandon Simmons to inbound on the sideline for the Eagles. Simmons looks down, but then gives it up at midcourt to Dubois. Dubois dribbles to the right-hand side. Simmons eyes it up, kicks back out to Sizemore, left all alone, not a threat to shoot from there. Sets a screen and pick and roll for Stecker, kicks it over to Dubois, he lines it up and lets it fly. <coughs> Off on that shot, rebound by Bishop who gives it over to Riley and Riley brings the ball up, covered by Dubois. Brings it over to Christian Wolf, guarded by Sizemore and Velkamp. Pulls up short. Eagles can't rebound. And diving out of bounds is Lee Velkamp and Brandon Simmons. And the Eagles come with a substitution. Joe Meerning for Matt Sizemore and Nathan Klopatic in for Carl Dubois. The Kohler Blue Bombers will be inbounding underneath their basket. Wolf pulls hard, but they kick it back to the weak side corner for number 23, Brian Stefanczyk, who hits a beautiful three, and the score is now 15 to five. Kohler Blue Bombers draw first blood here in the second quarter. Nate Klopatic running the offense, kicks it over to Stecker, Stecker over to Simmons. Over to Meerdink at the top, ball reversal over to Stecker, the pick and roll. Stecker down the middle, kicks to Simmons. Simmons goes up along the baseline and kisses it off the glass for a nice two. He goes pressuring again. They get it back into the middle to Christian Wolf and Riley brings the ball up the court, guarded closely by Klopatic. And he brings it down the middle, set a screen by Christian Wolf. Riley still with the ball. Wolf at the elbow, goes to the free throw line. Head and shoulder fake, puts the shot up long, tries to get the rebound, Klopatic comes down with it, he throws it down to Stecker on a breakaway, and it's tipped out of his hands. Great hustle play by Doug Bocchini, and taps it out of bounds, the Eagles have to reset. Bocchini just prevented a layup attempt by the Eagles. Lee Velkamp inbounding, goes over to Simmons. Simmons sides it up, guarded by Bishop. Over to Meerdink, guarded by Wolf. Into the corner to Velkamp, guarded by Bocchini. He gets it over to Meerdink, who steps back behind the three, lets it go, and hits it. Joe Meerdink has that range. He's hit quite a few threes for Christian this past year. Stefanczyk dumps it into Wolf, and it is a foul call against Joe Meerdink who just picked up his second foul and Meerdink isn't happy with it. That is Christian High's fourth team foul. And that quickly causes Coach Brett Flipsy to do some sub. Joe Westerbeck comes in for Andrew Stecker and Matt Sizemore is coming in for the sophomore Joe Meerdink. Christian Wolf to inbound for the Blue Bombers underneath their basket. 
guarded by Matt Sizemore. He dumps it into Riley, back into Wolf on the block. Belkamp tries to double team, and Wolf picks up the foul. I'm not exactly sure who that's on, but he's going to be shooting two. It's on Matt Sizemore, the 6'4 junior for Christian. This is going to be a concern for the Eagles. Wolf is a tremendous post player. Great footwork, handles the ball well, likes to get it into the low post, and he's a very good shooter. He hits the first one, making the score Christian 20, Kohler 6. Christian Wolf hits the second free throw, and the score is 20 to 7. Klopatic looks over to the bench for instructions. He brings it up over half court. Uh, Kohler's still in their man-to-man -man defense. Lee Velkamp goes back door, but goes over to Wool or goes over to Westerbeek. Westerbeek down, or Simmons down along the baseline. Tried to put up a shot and was blocked by Christian Wolf. Klopatic to go baseline, but he thinks better of it and brings it back out, closely guarded by Riley into Velkamp, guarded by Bocchini. And Lee Velkamp sets it back up, brings it to Klopatic. Guarded closely by Riley. The Eagles trying to set their offense. Pop out to Sizemore. Not even guarded by Wolf. Westerbeek comes around, but Christian steps out on that one. Belkamp down the baseline, skip over to Westerbeek. Not a good pass. Simmons with a dribble and shot a little long, and it goes up over the back of the board, and the ball is turned over to the Kohler Blue Bombers. A couple substitutions for the Eagles. Back into the lineup is Zach Jensma, and he comes in for Brandon Simmons, and Luke Weir, the junior, number 22, comes in for Lee Veldkamp. Full court pressure by the Eagles. They dump it into Christian Wolf. He dribbles up the floor, take the pressure off. Sizemore doesn't guard him closely, but gets him once he gets over half court. Klopatic closely guards Riley, and Riley dribbling. Kicks over to Stefanczyk. Stefanczyk dribbles baseline, guarded by Weir, drops to Wolf. Wolf slashes through the middle and lays it up off the glass and puts it in, making the score 20 to 9. There's 335 left here in the second period with Christian up 20 to 9. Ball goes down into the corner to Zach Jensma, looking over to see who he can get the ball to. Gets it to Sizemore, who gets it to Klopatic. Klopatic stops and pops behind the three and buries the three. Christian's still putting on some pressure, but they drop it into Wolf, who easily beats Christian defender across the timeline. Over to Riley, back in the corner to Stefan Stefanczyk. Skip over to Wolf, who squares it up. Nice little 12 foot jumper and buries it with an assist from Stefanczyk. Klopatic brings the ball over for Christian into Westerbay, closely guarded by Stefanczyk. Over to Weir, guarded by Bocchini. Weir looking it over and swings it over to Westerbeek. Westerbeek dribbling. Westerbeek. Got the ball stolen, but Kohler turned it over as Riley fell, trying to get out into the passing lane for a breakaway, and Klopatic controls the ball and runs the offense. Over to Westerbeek, back to Klopatic, in the corner or onto the wing to Jensma. Jensma drives baseline, got trapped there, skips over into the corner to Klopatic, over to Weir. Weir heads to the free throw line, shoots, is blocked by Bocchini, and it's a breakaway by Stefanczyk, guarded by Westerbeek, but he finishes with a layup, and and that gives a little bit of life here to Kohler. The score is now 23 to 13. The Eagles struggling against this man-to-man. -man. Kohler has tightened up their defense and has done a, oh, a steal by Riley. Bad pass by Westerbeek. And in with a left hand misses. Or Stefanczyk puts it back up. Tips it over to Riley and back to Bishop. And Bishop hits a nice little bunny shot and it is 23 to 15. Christian a little rattle and Brett Flipsy takes a timeout. That brings this Kohler, Kohler fans to their feet. Kohler not showing any quit in them. They're doing a tremendous job of putting some pressure, overplaying the passing lanes and making some great steals and have, have probably scored the last 
six or seven points here in this quarter. There's a minute 37 left in, until halftime in, in the first half. And at this point, the Eagles still lead the Blue Bombers 23 to 15. So they come out of the timeout. Kohler players are Riley, Farini, Herb Stacer, Bokini, and Wolf. And for the Eagles, it's Veldkamp, Stecker, Topadic, Weir, and Sizemore. Stecker dribbles in, tries a backdoor pass. It's tipped. It's stolen by Farini, who gets it over to gets it over to Herb Stacer, who calls over Riley to take the ball. Their ball handler, and he is harassed by Topadic, and they call the offensive foul on Pat Riley. Matt Riley. That's Riley's second personal. Kohler Blue Bombers fourth team. Neither team is close to the bonus as of yet. Luke Weir's got the ball in the wing, looks the offense over, passes over to Sizemore at the top as the Eagles try to reverse the ball. Stecker now with the ball, dribbling the middle, dumps down to Sizemore, who overlays. It's a beautiful pass by Stecker, but Sizemore, I think, was a little bit intimidated by Christian Wolf, who can do that to you at 6'10". Riley now again brings the ball over to half, hits Wolf in the middle. Christian takes one dribble and hits a nice little jumper, making the score 23 to 17 with 40 seconds left in the quarter. Topadic looking over to Coach Flipsy to see what last play they want to run. Brings it over to Stecker. It looks like they're going to just wait because Kohler went into a zone right now. Topadic stands between the circles. Watching the time go down, he dribbles, passes over to Stecker. Stecker looks it over, back over to Klopatic, and they patiently wait for the time. We're down to 10 seconds now. Now the Eagles start to try to penetrate this. Back to Stecker, over to Weir. Weir sizes it up, two seconds left. Belkamp skips over to Stecker, who puts it up, and they count it! Unbelievable! Great awareness by the two sophomores. Lee Veldkamp kicks it over to Stecker, who just lets it fly, and the referee counts it. Jeff Wolf can't believe it, and neither can the Kohler sideline, but it isn't going to change what it is. And so both teams head into the, into the locker room with Christian leading 25-17 to 17 at the half. We welcome you back to the second half of this WIAA Division IV regional game between the Kohler Blue Bombers and the Sheboygan County Christian High School Eagles. It was a very interesting half for both teams. I think in the first quarter, uh, the turnover problem really bit Kohler Blue Bombers and caused them only to have two points by the end of the quarter. But then the turnover bug hit Christian and the Kohler Blue Bombers made a nice return and Brought the score to 25 to 17 at halftime. Your your scorers for the first half for the Kohler Blue Bombers: Matt Riley with two, Brian Stefanczyk five, Craig Bishop with two, and Christian Wolf led the Kohler Blue Bombers in the first half with eight. For the Christian High Eagles, Nathan Klopatic had three, Brandon Simmons had two, Lee Veldkamp with two, Andrew Stecker with two, Joseph Westerbake with five, Zach Jensma with six, and Joe Meerdink with five. As we start the second half, Kohler Blue Bombers come out with the ball, Matt Riley takes it, and is closely guarded by Klopatic. And another charging foul by Riley as he pushed off and just cleared Klopatic out. And that's the first turnover for the second half for the Kohler Blue Bombers. Klopatic brings the ball over half court and is guarded by Riley into Veldkamp. They pass out to Meerdink, who attacks. There goes Klopatic with a shot. Bellcamp with a rebound, put back, and scores for the Christian High Eagles. Kohler quickly inbounds. Riley pushes the ball up the floor on the right-hand side. Dumps into Wolf. 
Simmons comes over, gets knocked over, and Wolf puts in a nice little five-foot jump shot over Brandon Simmons. And so we start this quarter fairly fast and furious. Ball goes into the corner to Simmons, back out to Meerdink, guarded by Bishop. Belkamp goes back door. Westerbake around the screen, shoots a three, misses, and it goes off of Bishop. And the Eagles will keep the ball under their basket. Coming into the lineup right now for the Kohler Blue Bombers is number 23, Brian Stefanczyk. And coming in for the Christian High Eagles is number 23, Zach Jensma, who gets the ball, he replaces Brandon Simmons. Jensma closely guarded by Christian Wolf, gets it over to Nate Klepatic. Klepatic dribbles in, and thinking that Jensma is going to go back door, Jensma stopped, and the ball went out of bounds, and the turnover is by the Eagles. Kohler to inbound underneath the Christian High basket. Full court press by the Eagles. Ball gets into Christian Wolf. Back over to Farini. Back over to Bocchini to Farini. And then to Christian Wolf, who brings it up over half. Closely guarded by Westerbeck, who brings it over to Stefanczyk. Stefanczyk running the offense at the top. Over to Bocchini. Bocchini guarded by Westerbeck. Kicks it over to Stefanczyk. Down over to Farini, and Farini puts it up and misses. Bishop with a rebound, puts it back up. Fight under the basket, Bishop again puts it back up. Belkamp battling Wolf, Wolf comes up with it. He goes down, and the ball is in the corner. Farini throws it back out to Bocchini, and a mad scramble, and Kohler comes out with it. Over to Stefanczyk, guarded by Westerbeek. Down into the corner to Bishop, looking for Wolf, who's closely guarded. He fumbles, goes to the floor, over to Stefanczyk. Down the lane, he loses the ball to Westerbeck. Westerbeck, down the middle. Farini hustling down. Westerbeck with a reverse, misses it. Battle for the ball off of Westerbeck, and it goes to the Kohler Blue Bombers. Farini to inbound. Gets it over to Bocchini. Bocchini dribbles up, trapped by Westerbeck and Klopatic, who falls out of bounds. 23 goes up for the shot. He's blocked by both Westerbeck, or by Meerdink, and by Jensma. Jensma brings the ball over court, bring, gives it over to Lee Velkamp, who gets it over to Klopatic, who sets the offense, and gets it to Jensma. Jensma attacks. The elbow shoots and scores. Jensma is on fire today, hits two threes, and now this little nice short intermediate jumper for eight points for him. Stefanczyk comes up, gives it to Wolf. Wolf fires. Farini comes crashing through the middle, tries to kick it back out, but doesn't get it. The paddock's got the ball, and now he is fouled by Douglas Bocchini, who pleads his case. Didn't feel he had done anything. And the Kohler Blue Bombers substitute. Craig Bishop comes out and number 25, Craig Erbstacer comes in. Matt Riley comes in and Ryan Stefanczyk comes out. Buster baked inbound at the half court. Trying to get it into Klopatic but has to go to Jensma. Jensma back over to Klopatic who's closely guarded by Riley. He gets it over half court. Over to Meerdink. Meerdink looking inside, posting up, or Velkamp posting up Okini, and Lee Velkamp picks up an offensive foul and a turnover by the Eagles. Perini to inbound underneath, gets it into Riley. Riley surveys, is closely guarded by Klopatic. Christian Wolf at midcourt setting a screen, and Riley has no problem getting it over half court. Riley runs the offense, comes over to the left-hand side, back into Christian Wolf at the free throw line. Wolf makes a move, goes left and puts it up. Short, and Jensma with the rebound, looking for Klopatic. And Klopatic gets the ball and brings it up over half court. Klopatic over to Westerbeck in the corner to Meerdink. Meerdink goes right around Wolf, baseline, and lays it in very easily. Again, Riley closely guarded by Klopatic, and Riley decides to give it up to Wolf. Wolf dribbles over to the right-hand side, skips over to the Farini, and the Kohler Blue Bomber coach 
Jeff Wolf takes a 30 second timeout. The score right now with four minutes and nine seconds remaining in the third period is Christian High Eagles 31 and the Kohler Blue Bombers 19. Both teams came out in this second half uh, really with guns blazing. They, there's, it's been up and down the court. It's been intense defense, some turnovers, layups, a whole bunch of things going on right now. And that's indicative of playoff basketball. There is no tomorrow for either team. Loser goes home and the winner continues on into this WIA tournament to play another day. Kohler will be inbounding their, the ball underneath their basket and the Eagles come out in a man-to-man. -man. Into the corner to Riley, over to Herb Stacer, back to Riley, looking for Wolf in the middle. Bellcamp on the weak side help, screened by Wolf, back into the middle, can't get it over to, to Wolf, they give it to Farini, Riley squares up for a three, lets it go, and swishes it. Beautiful shot by Matt Riley, making the score, Eagles 31, Kohler Blue Bombers 22. The Paddock brings the ball up court, kicks it over to Westerbeek, over to Meerdink, over to Jensma, who stops and pops. A little short, Farini comes down out of the pack with the ball, over to Wolf, and then back over to Riley. Riley dribbles up the floor with a little help from Christian Wolf, and sets up the offense. He goes by, Klopatic dumps back over to Wolf, into the side to Bokini, and he comes up short. Meerdink rips down the rebound, outlet to Westerbeek, Closely guarded by Bokini, goes baseline, runs into Wolf, doesn't know where to go, kicks it to Meerdink. Meerdink at the free throw line and is fouled by number 25, Craig Erbstacer, putting Joe Meerdink at the line to shoot two. Oh, no, excuse me, that foul is on Matt Riley. That's his fourth foul, fourth personal foul, and the team fouls are now Kohler for and Christian one. Mirnink lines it up, shoots and scores the first one, giving the Eagles a 10 point lead at 32 to 22. Some substitutions for the Blue Bombers. Craig Bishop comes back in along with Stefanczyk and the Eagles send in Carl Dubois for Nate Klopatic. Mirnink lines up his second shot. The lefty shoots and scores his second free throw. He goes full court pressure again, dump into Christian Wolf. He turns, looks, surveys the floor, leaves it back for Stefanczyk who dribbles up against Dubois. Down the right hand side, kicks it over to Wolf. Wolf down the middle, dumps it to Bishop, over to Farini, over to Stefanczyk who dribbles the left hand, looking for a shot, double teamed, and he turns the ball over. Mirnik with a steal and dumps it into Lee Velkamp over to Dubois who dribbles up over the half court. Over to the side to Westerbeek into Meerdink. Meerdink guarded by Christian Wolf. Velkamp posting, takes the shot, kind of heaves it up there. It's a rebound and a tie up with Craig Bishop and Lee Velkamp with the ball staying to the Eagles. Brandon Simmons checks in for Joel Westerbeek. Christian going with a fairly larger lineup. Into a little dump into Jensma who's blocked. Puts it up, gets his own. Blocked again, but Belkamp comes away with it. Kicks it over to Simmons. Back to Jensma who lines up a three and swishes it. That's his third three of the day. Kohler's got to come up with an answer for that guy. Christian Wolf dribbles over on the right-hand side. Guarded by Meerdink. Back over to Bokini who attacks again on the right-hand side. Guarded by Simmons. Stefanczyk comes out and gets it, and Simmons forces him to go the other way into Dubois, back over to Bokini. Bokini around the top, over to Farini, down in the corner to Stefanczyk, looking into Christian Wolf, who's posting and is mostly double teamed. Bishop at the elbow looking in. Farini down into Wolf for an easy layup. Nice ball movement by the Kohler Blue Bombers to free up Wolf, and Wolf does such an excellent job of sealing his guy and getting open. Nice little touch pass inside, and he gets the ball in for the basket. Joe Meerdink lines up a three and takes it off the bracket. Dubois hustles over and saves it into Jensma, but the ball was out of bounds and it is turned over to the Kohler Blue Bombers. With a minute 26 left into the quarter, 
Christian High Eagles lead Kohler Blue Bombers by 12, 36 to 24. Christian puts on the pressure and Dubois is crushed with a pick by Christian Wolf. They get it in underneath the Bishop who blows the bunny and Christian pushes it up. Bell camp to Jensma who sets up for the three and sends up an air ball. He can't blame the kid though, he's been hot out there. He hesitated on that shot and came up short and the ball goes over to the Kohler Blue Bombers. Blue Bombers inbound to Christian Wolf, back over to Farini. Farini eyes it up, looks over to Bocchini. Bocchini guarded by Simmons, hasn't gotten it over half court. They skip over to Christian Wolf on the left hand side, guarded by Meerdink. Wolf keeps his dribble, spin move, shoots, brackets it, but Bishop gets high and gets the rebound over to Bocchini. Bocchini Lowers the shoulder, goes in, puts up the shot and makes it, but the referee called the foul on Simmons before the shot went up, and it's on the floor. The foul is against Simmons. But there seems to be a discrepancy as to who the foul is on, because if it's on 15, that's his, that would be his fourth foul, unless that's Riley's number up on the scoreboard yet. They're trying to figure out who's the foul was on. Trying to determine the scores table. They correct it and they put the foul on Brandon Simmons, his first. The Christian High Eagles second. Farini the inbound over to Stefanchek, who dribbles to the middle, guarded by Dubois. Oh, and Simmons just picked up a quick second foul as he reached in and hit Stefanchek on the hand. That's his second foul. And the third team for the Eagles. Kohler the inbound again under the basket. Farini looking, dumped it into and I think Simmons just picked up his third foul as he bodied up Christian Wolf underneath as Christian just sealed him and put it right in the middle and they dumped it into him and Simmons was just helpless playing behind it. Simmons now being substituted by coach Brett Flipsy for Luke Weir and Andrew Steckers and they dump into Stefanczyk and Luke or I'm sorry, Lee Belkamp just picked up another Christian foul. That's his third foul and the Eagles fifth. The, the Eagles just picked up like four quick fouls within like 20 seconds here. There's 40 seconds left in the period. Farini looking to inbound, he gets it into Bishop. Bishop kicks over to Bocchini who steps in, takes a shot. Wolf with a rebound and he is fouled as Christian couldn't rebound. Christian High that is. And that falls on 31, Matt Sizemore, his second. And puts Christian Wolf at the line shooting two with 33 seconds left. Wolf hits the first one making the score 36-25. He eyes up the second and makes it, bringing the Blue Bombers within 10. Andrew Stecker into the lineup. He brings the ball up over half court, eyes the situation, dumps it into Sizemore. Kohler in a zone. Sizemore out at the three looking. Weir lines it up. There's 17 seconds left. Weir doesn't know where to go with it. It's contested by Bocchini, kicks it over to Velkamp. There's seven seconds, six. Belkamp penetrates the middle, dashes to Sizemore beautifully, and Sizemore hits a nice little left-hand layup. Beautifully run play right at the end of the quarter. Lee Belkamp penetrated. The Kohler Blue Bombers stepped up, leaving Sizemore all by himself, and he finished a nice little bunny. An exciting third quarter here between the Eagles and the Blue Bombers. And we head into the fourth quarter, the final quarter of this game with the Christian High Eagles leading 38 to 26. As we start the fourth quarter, the Blue Bombers come out 
With their starting lineup, Dominic Farini starts along with number 23, Ryan Stefanczyk, and number 13, Doug Bocchini, number 25, Craig Erbstaster, and number 45, Christian Wolf. The Eagles bring out Nate Klepatic, Andrew Stecker guarding Bocchini over to Ferrari. Farini back over to Stefanczyk, guarded by Stecker, who penetrates the middle, is blocked, but fouled by, I believe, number 11, Nate Klepatic. And it looks like it's going to be a shooting foul, so they'll be shooting two, and that puts Kohler Blue Bombers in the bonus for the rest of the fourth quarter. That was Nate Klepatic's first personal foul. And now they are debating whether it was on the floor or if it's a shooting foul. And the referees confer with one another. And it it looks like Stefanicek will be shooting two. He misses the first, is long. Lines up the second and makes that one, making the score here early in the fourth quarter. 38 Eagles, 27 Blue Bombers. Klepatic dribbling up court, gets it into Luke Weir on the right hand wing. Weir looking inside, can't get it to Velkamp, closely guarded, dribbles outside, back over to Meriden, down inside to Velkamp, who goes up hard, thinking he's going to get fouled. He overlays, gets his own rebound, and puts it back in. Stefan Stefanczyk brings the ball up court, guarded by Klepatic. He penetrates the middle, over to Bocchini, over back to Stefanczyk, looking inside, puts up a shot. Caron's off the route, and tips, Lee Velkamp comes away, tips it over to Stecker, who puts it in his block from behind by Farini. Great hustle play by Dominic Farini, the senior from Kohler, who blocked an easy layup attempt for by Andrew Stecker. Checking into the Eagle lineup is Joe Westerbake for Luke Weir. Inbounding the ball is Lee Velkamp for the Eagles. And checking out of the Kohler Blue Bomber lineup is Herb, Craig Herbstacer, and I believe Matt Riley is the one that checked in for him. Klepatic takes the ball, dribbles down the right-hand side, is stopped, thinks twice about it, and a bad entry pass stolen by Kohler. Stefanczyk comes out of it, presses it up the floor, gives it over to Christian, Christian over to Bocchini. Bocchini lines up just inside the three, shoots it, rims out. Christian Wolf takes it away from Andrew Stecker and back out to Stefanczyk, who dribbles in the middle, dumps to Farini for an easy bunny shot. Beautiful play by Stefanczyk. Down into Farini. Drew the Eagle defender over and forced the the Eagles to come in. Dump into Belkamp who misses a bunny but rebounded by Westerbeek. Kopatic comes in and bodies are flying everywhere. And it looks like it's going to be a foul on Kohler. It's on Bocchini, I believe. His second personal, team fourth. Eagles inbound underneath their basket. Joe Meerdink in the corner, over to Nate Klepatic. Klepatic running the offense over to Westerbeek. Stecker cutting through over to Meerdink, guarded closely by Christian Wolf. Eagle fans wanted a foul. Belkamp eyes it up. Looking inside, gives it to Stecker in the corner, back to Velkamp, over to Klepatic, back to Velkamp, over to Stecker, dumps it into Lee Velkamp, over to Meerdink, blocked by Christian Wolf. Joel Meerdink gets his own rebound, but then is, misses the shot, and Lee Velkamp grabs the rebound, and it is a Kohler foul. It's on the floor, it doesn't look like Velkamp's going to get the shooting foul. That foul was uh, number 23, Brian Stefanczyk. And Eagles will inbound underneath their basket. Checking into the Eagle lineup is senior Brandon Simmons for the sophomore Andrew Stecker. Belkamp to inbound to Westerbeek. Westerbeek into the middle, elevates high, comes up short. Simmons goes, tries to go up, got the rebound, but it went off a Christian Wolf's leg, and the Eagles will maintain possession. The 
The Eagles get the play called by Velkamp. They run it. Look to Westerbeek in the corner. Westerbeek thinks about it. Kohler in a man-to-man. -man. Brandon Simmons unguarded at the free throw line by Wolf. Over to Klopatic as they run their little weave. Westerbeek thinks about taking a shot. Klopatic looks at it but thinks twice and resets. Wolf makes sure nobody penetrates down the lane. Down into Mierdink. Mierdink is underneath the basket, kicks to Westerbeek. Westerbeek shoots the three and scores from Mierdink. Making the score 43 to 29 at the five minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Riley brings it up over half, guarded by Klopatic over to Bokini. Bokini draws Joe Mierdink on him. And Christian Wolf lowers his shoulder. Bodies fly everywhere, including Christian. He draws the foul, I believe, by Lee Veldkamp. That is Lee's fourth personal with 446 left to play in the fourth. Wolf shooting the first and making it, making the score 43 to 30. Checking into the Eagle lineup now is Zach Jensma for Lee Veldkamp. And Christian Wolf lines up his second free throw. And makes it. And Kohler calls a timeout. Coach Jeff Wolf asks for a 30 second timeout. Trust me, we're in for I think a tense last four minutes and 46 seconds here. Like I said before, neither team obviously is gonna let this one go easily. There is no tomorrow in the WIA tournament. You lose and you're done. So it'll be an interesting four minutes and 46 seconds left to go. As we head into this timeout, the Christian Eye Eagles lead the Kohler Blue Bombers 43 to 31. As we come out of the timeout, the Eagles will be inbounding underneath the Kohler basket. Joe Westerbeek will inbound to his fellow senior, Nate Klopatic, who dribbles up and is guarded closely by Ryan Stefanczyk. He passes over to Westerbeek, who cuts through. Klopatic cuts through. Simmons dribbles out to the top, guarded by Wolf, and it's tipped out by Ryan Stefanczyk. Stefanczyk has played a nice game for the Kohler Blue Bombers as he's come off the bench, handling the ball and, and playing some good, solid defense for the Blue Bombers today. Klopatic takes the ball, dribbles over to his right, looking for somebody to bring it in. Goes back to Westerbeek. Simmons all alone on the left-hand wing, kicks it out to Jensma, who goes down the lane and puts up a double clutch shot, comes off the rim, and Christian Wolf pulls down the rebound. Matt Riley brings the ball up over half as Kohler sets its offense. Coach Jeff Wolf fully yells out secondary and runs the play. It looks like Wolf is going to take the shot. He misses badly, and it comes over to Mierdink, who tries to get it over to Joe Westerbeek, but it's kicked out of bounds by Doug Bocchini over to the Eagles. Eagles to inbound in front of the Kohler bench. Joe Westerbeek looking for somebody to inbound it to. He gets it over to Simmons. Simmons beats Christian Wolf and heads down the left-hand side. Now he's trapped, and it's tipped out by Dominic Farini. Eagles looked a little discombobulated there, not knowing exactly where they wanted to go. Joe Westerbeek to inbound again. Looks over to Simmons, but gives it to Klopatic, closely guarded by Stefanczyk, doubled by Bocchini. Hits Jensma at the free throw line. He hesitates, 
and didn't shoot the ball. I don't know if the Eagles are looking to take some time. Oh, nice play by Farini, who taps it away, an entry pass into Mirdink, and the Bombers come away with it. And it's tipped away by Westerbeek. Westerbeek gets it back from Kopatic, tries to reverse layup and falls short again, and steps out of bounds as he tries to save it, giving the ball to the Blue Bombers. The Blue Bombers inbound, and Matt Riley takes the ball guarded by the paddock. He heads down the left-hand side, carried the ball but wasn't called, and sets it up for the Bombers. Christian Wolf out at the three-point line, dribbles to the middle, kicks it back over to Riley, who sets for a long three, hits the front of the rim, and the Eagles come away with it. Joe Meerdink trying to hang on to the ball, gets it over to Simmons. Simmons pushes it up the left-hand side but hesitates to stop there. And Brett Flipsy, recognizing the Eagles are a little hesitant about what to do against this pressure, calls a timeout and tries to settle down his troops. You can bet one thing, the Kohler Blue Bombers are just going to give it their all down the stretch here. There's going to be bodies and hands flying all over the place. And it'll be interesting to see how the Eagles handle this pressure. The Eagles have a nice senior-laden team. Three of their starters are seniors, along with the two sophomores. Right now, though, Lee Velkamp is out with four fouls. And my guess is that Coach Flipsy will be looking to bring him back in rather soon as they head down the stretch here. Right now the score is the Eagles 43, the Kohler Blue Bombers 31. There's two minutes and 49 seconds remaining. The Eagles have 18 fouls, the Kohler Blue Bombers have five, so that means that the Blue, the Blue Bombers will be shooting the bonus and the Bombers have two fouls to give before putting the Eagles in the bonus. Klopata closely guarded by Stefanczyk. Kicks it over to Westerbeek, into the corner to Simmons. Receives a little pressure from Christian. Eagles running their offense somewhat deliberately, making sure they get the good shot. Klopata tremendously hassled by Bocchini, who eventually fouls him. And it looks like some of the Kohler coaches are imploring a foul so that not a lot of time runs off the clock by the Eagles. That's the six-team foul. Bocchini, that's his third personal foul. And the Eagles will inbound. Lee Velkamp looking to inbound. Kicks it into Mirodink and tipped out by Farini of the Blue Bombers, giving the ball back to the Eagles. Again, the Blue Bombers not rolling over here at all. They definitely are being implored by their coach to give it their all and they are doing so. Their defense is tremendous. Belkamp is back into the lineup. He replaces Zach Jensma. They need the ball handling and it looks like the Eagles are looking to take some time off. They kick it down over to Simmons. Simmons hesitates, kicks it back out of Klopatic. There's two minutes left in the game and Stefanczyk Realizing time is we're running off the clock, fouls Klopatic, who will now go to the line for the bonus. That's Stefanczyk's second foul. Stefanczyk is just winded out there. This kid has laid it all out on the floor tonight. He's played wonderfully for Kohler. Klopatic hits the first free throw. This is the key for any good team, is whether they can hit their free throws down the stretch in a, in a tight ball game, especially one that has important ramifications like this one does. It rattles around and falls in, giving the Eagles a 14-point lead with two minutes left. The Eagles leading 45-31. to 31. Riley brings the ball over, harassed by Klopatic, and then switched over by Velkamp playing defense. He goes to the middle. Wolf sets up for a three, lets it go, and finds nothing but the bottom of the net. Beautiful shot. Shot. Christian Wolf has wonderful range, just like his father did in high school. And quickly, Jeff Wolf calls timeout after that basket. Score now is 45 to 34 with a minute 46 left in this game. And my guess is you're going to see some quick fouls here by the Kohler Blue Bombers to stop the clock and put Christian at the line and then get the ball back and see if they can't get themselves back in this game. It's been a well-played, well-coached, well-refereed basketball game here this afternoon at Cedarburg. 
And right now, the Christian High Eagles really are in the driver's seat. But there's a lot of time left, a lot of time. 11 points definitely is not insurmountable for the Blue Bombers with a minute 46. Christian walks out with Lee Belkamp, Joe Westerbake, Nate Klepatic, Joe Meerdink, and Brandon Simmons. The Blue Bombers come out with Riley, Bocchini, Stefanczyk, Wolf, and Farini. Kohler putting on a full court press. Belkamp trying to inbound. He throws it and is stolen by Stefanczyk by the Blue Bombers. Wolf setting up for a three. Bocchini was setting up for a three. Contested. Stefanczyk shoots. Contested. Meerdink with a rebound for Christian. Kicks it out to Westerbeck and he is quickly fouled by Stefanczyk. And it's a wise foul. The Blue Bombers need to conserve as much time as possible. Kohler Blue Bomber fans now imploring their team towards victory. Joel Westerbeck at the line, shoots the first, it rims out, Christian Wolf with a rebound. Matt Riley dribbles up slowly, I would think there would be a little more urgency, but they're running an offense for Christian Wolf to get out at the three, covered by Meerdink, dribbles the baseline, shoots it long, and it's rebounded by Farini over Velkamp. Stefanczyk down the middle, he misses, Wolf tapping it around, and Simmons comes away with it, gets it over to Velkamp. They aren't fouling it, they're trying to, and they finally do. Farini fouls Velkamp in the backcourt with a minute nine seconds left putting Velkamp at the line. That's Farini's first, the Blue Bombers ninth, but team falls just don't really matter at this point. They need to stop the clock and get the ball back. Lee Velkamp lines it up. Sophomore from Christian, lets it go. It's got beautiful rotation, great shot form. Hits the first one. It's got one more free throw. Score now 46-34, shoots the second, rattles around and goes in, making it 47-34. 13 point lead by Christian. Riley trying to get a foul, loses it, and Velkamp goes in for an easy layup. Now the Bombers are gonna are in a tough position. Eagles flying around the court trying to put pressure on. Riley shoots a three, partially blocked by Velkamp, rebounded by Klepatic, who is followed by Farini with 49.2 seconds left. And the Eagle fans are smelling a victory right now. Coach Brett Flipsy is looking to substitute and put some seniors in right now. Nate Klepatic is at the line, shooting two. He hits the first. Checking into the Eagle lineup is senior Marshall Verveldi and senior Marcus Lemihue. Checking out is Lee Veldkamp, who had another wonderful game, especially down the stretch here, and Joe Westerbeck. Klepatic shoots a second and it rattles hard off the bracket, and Stefanczyk comes away with it. Checking into the Kohler lineup is number 24, A.J. Armstrong, a junior for the Blue Bombers. Riley goes down the lane, misses a short little bunny. Klepatic comes away with it. Kohler looks like they're not going to foul. They kick it over to Marshall Verveldi. Verveldi not getting a lot of playing time, but wisely just kicks it back out and not just shoots it. Bocchini follows Klepatic, who wants the ball in his hands towards the end here. There's 22.7 seconds left in this game. And Christian definitely has this one in control at 50 to 34. Klepatic eyes up the first and makes his first. Into the lineup are a couple JV players for Christian. Jeremy Jensma checks in, number 33. And Zach Flipsy, the coach's son, a freshman, number 24. Also checking into the Kohler lineup is number five, Shane Anderson. And number three, Matt Dykstrhaus. Also checking into the Eagle lineup is Eric Patron with 18 seconds left. 
Bocchini running the offense, guarded by Flipsy. He goes down the lane, shoots one up, misses. Bodies on the floor as Lemmy struggles to get up, dumps it into number 24 with a nice little bank shot. A.J. Armstrong gets two points for the Kohler Blue Bombers. Zach Flipsy, the freshman, now dribbling up with no timeout. And the score of this WIAA Division IV regional game between the Kohler Blue Bombers and the Sheboygan County Christian Eye Eagle comes to the end with the Christian Eye Eagles winning the game with a score of 52 to 36. It was a great afternoon of basketball. Both teams left it out on the floor. We give credit to that Kohler Blue Bomber team and to Christian Wolf. They played an excellent game and they played their hearts out and came up short this afternoon. Congratulations to the Christian High Eagles. They will be heading to the Beaver Dam High School next week Friday at 7 p.m. to take on the winner of the Randolph Oshkosh Lords basketball game. It's going to be a tough challenge if Randolph ends up winning that game, but we'll have to see. Never count your chickens before they're hatched, is the old saying. So congratulations to Brett Flipsy and the Christian High Eagles in their win here at Cedarburg. And now the Christian High Eagles get ready to accept the regional WIAA Division IV Regional Plaque. The championship plaque. Coach Flipsy goes out, receives the congratulation, accepts the plaque, and hands it over to senior Nate Klopatic, who is surrounded by his teammates, and shows it to the Christian High crowd, who of course is very appreciative. We thank you for spending your time here this afternoon with us. My name is Ralph Decker, announcing for the second time here for Charter Cable. And we're, thank we're thankful that you took the time to come out and watch this game. Again, the final here at Cedarburg, Sheboygan County Christian High 52, the Kohler Blue Bombers 36.